everyone, and welcome to my March reading journal update. As you saw at the beginning of the year, I set up my reading journal, and then I'm not gonna lie, during February and the beginning of March, I have completely forgotten to update it recently. So I thought I'd take you along with me so you could see how this journal is evolving and maybe get some ideas for your own reading journal. So let's get into updating this. So we're going to be starting over here on the Iridium side of things because I obviously really need to be keeping up with what I'm doing in Iridium and what path I'm taking. Also, I don't know why my page just skipped over to goals instead. It just does that sometimes. Um, in terms of why I'm also using different colours, it's just because I fancy using a different colour. I do occasionally try to colour code my months, but it doesn't go that well most of the time. It just ends up as a mess, but it's a colourful mess, so I don't really mind. Um, we're now onto the series tracker, and I'm going to be colouring in two um, murder bot spaces because I've read two murder bot books in the last couple of months and I've also realized that my coloring in skills are not the greatest in the world but I am dyspraxic this just happens coloring in is not the neatest thing in the world and one of the best things with having a digital journal is that if it gets really really messy I can just rub it out and my mistakes will be completely and utterly erased which is very useful to say the least when you have um like very bad penmanship skills like I do. Um obviously I'm also colouring in a Shadow Hunters book because I have started a new Shadow Hunter series and then also I am colouring in a Saint Mary's as well because I have read the third Saint Mary's book and really really enjoyed it recently. Um as you can see it's all going to be in that same colour but the next time I colour something in on these of this side it's probably gonna be a different colour again. I don't know which one it will be. I just sort of pick um, whatever the mood takes me to. Then we go on to the priority list here and I have covered a couple of things. Unfortunately some of it was a DNF but there were also a couple of really um, good books in there as well so I'm just going to be filling those in and pasting in those, uh, those star ratings. As you can see I um, made the world we make a four star read along with Darkwood. I actually read Darkwood this month, so that's a bit of a um, quick look into my um, wrap-up for March a little bit early. Now we're going on to the DNFs, and obviously I'm not going to give them like a one star or something, so instead I am just going to be using the pen function to cross them out because that seems like the best thing to do, and then I accidentally also crossed out Seasonal Fizz when I actually haven't read that yet. Um, as for why I keep on um, deleting these, it's just because the lines were not straight whatsoever and I really wanted them to look a little bit better than that and then I just kind of gave up because, like I said, my penmanship skills are not the greatest in the world. On to the best books and I have a couple of um, books for this but I'm just choosing one book and one um, comic for this just because otherwise that would be a very very full square so I'm going for The World We Make which was definitely one of my absolute favourite books of February and then I'm also going to be picking the Gwenpool comic I read as well because I absolutely Loved that comic so much. It brought me so much joy. And I do not actually have the cover for this because it was an Infinity comic. And I, to be honest, couldn't be bothered to try and hunt it down again. So I just used one of my screenshots from the comic, um, which I know for a fact is definitely from that comic, to remind myself when it gets to the end of the year exactly which one I was on about. As you can see, I'm now trying to like rearrange these things to try and get them into the same square. I know it looks like a mess, but... This is just how my brain works. This is what the inside of my brain looks like. So that's just fine. On to February now. You can kind of see what I was going for. I was going for a bit of an Our Flag Means Death type um, theme because it was coming out on the BBC at the time and I really, really enjoy that show. Then you can quickly see the... Um, collage I did and things like this for the other pages and now we go on to setting up March. So I'm going to be starting with setting up my to be read spreads. The reason why this Sean and Maguire book is across both February and March is because my copy did not arrive in time. It still hasn't arrived actually but I'm hoping it's going to arrive in March so I put it on this month's TBR as well. Then obviously I'm filling out um, things like Ninth House, all of this kind of thing and I may now fast forward a bit so you don't have to just see me constantly doing this. Mm -hmm. 
And now back to normal speed. So now I'm on to the decoration side of things. So I'm going for a little bit of a collage look again because I do quite like that look and it means I just get to stick in a whole load of pictures that I really, really love. This one specifically is a shot of Legion played by Dan Stevens because I absolutely adore that show. I admittedly haven't seen it in a few years but I do absolutely adore it. And now I'm just going through the archive of everything I've got on my tablet to see if there's anything else that I really want to put on here and the answer to that will be definitely I've just got to find it all because it's not exactly in the most um, organized um, way shall I say Obviously there had to be a McFly photo in there as well because obviously I'm a massive McFly fan and there isn't going to be any sort of particular theme as you can see by this because it is my birthday month and so my birthday month I generally just stick a whole load of pictures in to do with all of the different fandoms I'm in essentially. You can also see I went through a serious Heathers theme at one point um, last year which... I mean, no regrets, I love Heathers and then I'm just sort of looking through and you can kind of see the different fandoms and the different people I mostly focus on. Obviously there had to be a Bucky in here as well because I absolutely adore Bucky Barnes and I, to be honest, really, really miss him and the Winter Soldier. So I'm putting a picture of him in here as well because, I mean, it can't hurt. <laughs> and to be honest, I, I love him so he was obviously going to be in this. Then I decided to add something to do with the Marvels because obviously I'm a massive fan of Carol, Kamala and also Monica and quite frankly everyone slept on that film. You should all go and watch the Marvels because it is awesome. It's such a comic book movie. It brings me ridiculous amounts of joy so I had to bring them into this as well and let's be honest I relate to Kamala Khan a bit too much in terms of her level of fangirling so I had to put it, her in here as well because this is a spread all about all of the things that bring me joy and obviously the Marvels brings me joy so that had to be added. Then I was looking through the rest of the archive and I was thinking maybe something to do with the Doctor, specifically David Tennant's Doctor. Um, then maybe Good Omen? because I mean I do love good omens and you can't go wrong with putting David Tennant in a bullet journal spread in my mind so I went for a bit of Crowley and Aziraphale because I mean they are also my fave so I put a bit of them in there as well one of the things I also should mention is what I love about digital journaling is that I can rearrange and also resize photos at will because one thing I really struggle with in terms of physical um, journaling is the fact that I have to kind of guess the sizing of all of the things I want to put in there which can sometimes mean that paper gets wasted and things because I've just made things far too big but with digital journaling I don't have to do that I can just resize as I go which is absolutely fantastic and saves me a lot of paper and a lot of head headaches. Um, now as you can see I'm putting in the prompts for the Avengers reading um, like readathon that's going on at the moment in March because obviously I needed those so I could tick them off as I um, read these books and then I am just sort of going through and deciding that there's too much white space in here so I am going to be covering it in yet more photos because I mean that's just who I am as a person. If there's a blank space in the journal it will be covered in a whole load of different photos because that's just what the inside of my brain looks like I won't lie I keep on saying that but it really is what the inside of my brain looks like so now I'm just sort of going through and finding what I want to put in there comics books are real books is actually one of my designs that I have um, on my store if you want to check that out I will leave a link to it down below but comic books are real books is something I definitely stand by and that is one of my favourite um, little digital stickers that I put within this journal now I'm just sort of looking through and seeing what else I can put in here obviously there is a lot of photos and a lot of these have already been used in various different um, spreads and things over the last couple of years but I still like putting them in there if I can and seeing if I can put them in again uh, I was seriously considering some Heathers but I decided to go for some um, Across the Spider-Verse and seeing if that fitted in but that didn't look that good um, in that space so I wasn't entirely happy with that so I decided to delete it which is also another really good thing about digital journaling is that if something isn't working you can just delete it and um, put something else in instead which is absolutely brilliant I really really enjoy that about digital journaling it just feels like even if you make a mistake it doesn't matter because you're not wasting paper you're not wasting pen ink or anything else if you spell something wrong like I do frequently because I am dyslexic you can just retype it which is absolutely a godsend because I have definitely messed up a few times over the years 
And as you can see as well, I'm now finding some of the stickers that I've found on Pinterest over the years and I am um, resizing it to get a Black Widow because I do love Natasha as well so I wanted to put a bit of Natasha in here um, and I mean I love this uh, cropping tool and things like this so I can just sort of paste things in. I will say that the white background is not my absolute favourite thing in the world but to be honest I could not be bothered to remove the background on this, I won't lie. Um, now we're just going through again yet more decoration because in my mind more is more and I am very much not a minimalist kind of reading journal person or anything else. Um, I much prefer to have a whole load of stickers and things like this. This I'd rather be reading actually is one of mine as well as one of my designs and I made it into the asexual colours because I mean I, I, I am asexual myself and then I suddenly remembered as well that the um, to be red spread here is another thing I pasted in which means anything I put on top of it is going to move with it. And now I'm just going to speed through the rest of the decoration because there was a lot of umming and ahhing and changing things around and all the rest of it because some bits weren't fitting, they weren't looking quite right, this kind of thing. So I'm just going to let this run through and come back to you in a minute. And to be honest, that is it for updating this digital reading journal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below, tell me if you use a digital reading journal, I'd love to know. Or if you don't have that much time, leave me a pen emoji down below to let me know that you were here. Also leave a link as well down below to all my social media if you want to check it out, including to the comic book sanctum, which is my website dedicated to Marvel Comics if you want to check that out. As well as a link as well down below to my free digital reading journal template, which is the template I'm currently using if you want to check it out for yourself. Or if you just want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe. And until next time, everyone, bye!